All right, it is April 27th, 2023. Um, I just finished a Grand Canyon hike about a month and a half ago with my buddy Randy. We attempted to do a pretty ambitious hike, got turned around, and uh, but basically we were in and out of the gym canyons. Um, and it was during just all that horrendous weather that the Southwest was getting at that time. So um, we're back here at the Grand Canyon. Let me turn this around, check this out. Oh yeah, one of my favorite spots right here. This is uh, the South Bass Trailhead. And um, we're gonna just do a four-nighter. We're gonna do the Royal Arch Loop um, clockwise from here. So uh, I got my brother-in-law, Steven, with us and uh, my buddy Greg is going to be joining me on this one. Greg, as you know, did the JMT with me back in 21 and uh, my brother-in-law, Steven, he actually, uh, we were talking about it on the way here. He's actually with me on three of my firsts in terms of backpacking. Um, he was with me the first time I summited Whitney, the first time I ever went into the back country of the Sierra and did any kind of hiking like that backpacking. And he was with me also on my very first through hike that I ever did in the Sierra from Whitney to uh, Road's End. So this is the first time he's ever been to Grand Canyon or seen it. And uh, we're going to show him what the Grand Canyon is all about on this hike. So uh, Greg and I are really looking forward to watching Stephen be able to experience this and stuff. So anyway, this is one of my favorite parts of the canyon. Um, it's, you know, Royal Arch, it's, it's very remote. It's hard to get to, especially now that the Indians have the road shut down and it's just a bear to get out here. But uh, if you can, it's definitely worth checking out. So here we go. Royal Arch Loop starts now. You're gonna spend four nights down here. What are you thinking? It's a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do it, man. Yeah? Let's get in there. It's pretty grand, isn't it? Oh, it's grand. Yeah, man. And it's a canyon. Yeah, it don't even look real. Nice to be back. Thought I was gonna miss, miss the canyon this spring. But here I am. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's drop in. Where we go? <laughs> Heading out that direction. Just basically contouring right there along the shelf.
it's just after two o'clock, pretty damn hot. But we're literally a few hundred yards away from Seep Spring, I believe. It's right back in here, but it is hot. But overall, what an awesome morning, early afternoon so far being down in here. Um, it's just beautiful with all the rain we got this year. Stuff is just, I mean, look how everything's green. The flowers are popping everywhere. Unbelievable down here. All right, we made it right here to the head of Royal Arch Creek. The goal is to drop down into there right now. And then we're just gonna work our way down until we find a really good pothole water and some flat spots to pitch a tent. Call it camp. Here is camp one on the Slick Rock, right where the two forks come together down in Royal Arch Creek. Lots of pothole water around here. It's a beautiful night, it's nice and warm. It's awesome. Great day. Just did some laundry, filtering some water, and uh, getting ready to get some dinner in us now. That was a good day. It was, um, it was hot, Stevens worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burnt out. Yeah, it was sun beating down on you all day long. No cloud cover, no shade. Um you know, I I would say it was probably around 80, but when you're hiking um in the desert, it's pretty hot. So anyway, yeah, awesome camp. Digging it so far. Awesome day today. Can't complain. See what tomorrow has in store. All right, good morning. Day two is about to begin. We're gonna try to get an early start today. We don't have far to get to the arch, maybe three, four miles. Spend some time down there and then ultimately try to get to Toltec Beach for camp. Great first night though, temperatures were perfect. It wasn't cold, wasn't hot. Day two starts now. All right, we are making our way down Royal Arch Creek. Started day two. Um, awesome slick rock walking in here with all these potholes filled with water. It's just really cool. Um, making our way to the big dry fall where the ledge of death is. Um, the ledge of death though, so if when you get to the dry fall, if you go to the left, that'll take you to the ledge of death. But you can do a slightly less technical route to the right, if you go to the right of the dry fall and walk that ledge, and it's not so technical and scary, so to speak. <laughs> um, that's the way we're gonna go. on the ledge now, on the right side of the dry fall, looking downstream. We're gonna make our way out to the end 
and then drop down that ramp down to the creek bed and then follow it all the way to the arch. That's a fun little section, that little ledge walk, and then you just kind of drop through the boulders uh, right in here, come across, and now we're just dropping down to the creek bed. Pretty steep right here, but nothing real technical. And the dry fall is back that way. All right, we made it down to the creek bottom here. Next stop, Royal Arch. So we've made it to this part where normally these are dry, but with the epic rain year, we got a couple of little swims to do here. But normally you can just drop down right here and it takes you all the way down to the bottom and you just walk down, but it uh, looks like we're gonna be swimming. It looks like you could possibly take this ledge right here and take it all the way across and down and get back down over in there but I can't see far enough to see way down there if we could get back down to the creek bottom from that band so I think we're gonna go for the swim it's hot and we stink anyway so all right we got a hand packs down right here and we're gonna get down just below Greg there and that's where we're gonna launch from Greg brought a uh, just a little inflatable donut that we're just going to set our packs on top of. So you and then, it, here, you know, we'll we can relay the, go ahead and swim across with our packs on top of that so nothing gets wet. All right, Greg's first. Took the plunge. Yeah, buddy. You! The first one was right above that big white boulder there. This is the second one. It's a little smaller and I was able to ledge walk right where Greg is all the way across pretty much the whole way, so not too bad. Okay, we just uh, passed the junction that takes you up this ledge here. Let me pan up. Takes you up across that cliff band up there and ultimately out to the rappel, but we're going to head another mile down the creek bed here to the actual Royal Arch and take a lunch there. So just picking our way through the boulders. Um, awesome 
hiking. I mean, this trail has everything. I mean, boulder scrambling, creek bottom walking, ledge walking, um, swimming that we had to do. We got the hand line later on, and, and of course, the awesomeness of Royal Arch itself. So, um, anyway, making our last mile down to it. See you there. about you brother it's pretty spectacular man awesome view dude for sure right yeah worth the worth the hike down oh yeah definitely worth the hike down Right, I'm here with Steve-O. We're coming at you live from the arch. <laughs> <laughs> now, we just took a pretty long break here at the arch, about an hour. Um, really awesome spot. And um, we got about another two to three hours of hiking left. Um, we're going to backtrack now, go back to the junction, and get up on the uh, Tonto platform and hike it around the point and over to the 20 foot uh, hand line rappel and drop down to Toltec for camp. So, leaving the arch, awesome spot. I've camped here before, highly recommended if you got the time. Alright, we made it back to the junction here, and time to make our climb up to the Tonto shelf. Flowers are popping up here on the shelf. Beautiful.
Man, it is so awesome to be here right now during the super bloom. <laughs> You know, I've, I've hiked Grand Canyon at different times. Normally, I hike it in, you know, early March to mid-March, right at the tail end of winter. But with all the rain we got this year, being out here right now when everything is just exploding with the super bloom is, there's something to be said for it. It's definitely worth um, the heat that we've been having to contend with because it is beautiful out here right now. All right, we have made it to the little down climb here that's gonna take us to the ledge where the rappel is. And just above Greg there is where Toltec Beach is, but we're not seeing much sand. They let out a really high flow amount of water a couple days ago, and I think they shut it down literally yesterday sometime or last night, so it might still be flowing pretty damn high right now and the beach might not even be there, but we're gonna find out soon, so. Here we go, rope rappel coming up. All right, we made it to the rappel. This is what it looks like. So we just gotta go down to that ledge right there. A good step right below you, right below that left foot. Yep. Okay, you're almost down, dude. You got five more feet. You got five more feet. Good step right there. Yep, there you go. You're on it, buddy. Good step right there. Down? Yep. Bottom. Hold on, hold on. Go slow. You got steps. Yep, go down. Go put your foot down. Put your foot down. Right, right there, right there. there you go. Yep, there you go, there you go. Now you got another one a little lower, a little lower. Okay. Right here, here, I'll put your foot there. Right, right, just a little lower, six inches lower. Right there, there you go. And you're almost down, you're almost down. Right there, that's the bottom. <laughs> there you go, brother! <laughs> up, someone doesn't like heights, dude. I know, dude, I don't like them either. Good job, man, you fucking overcame it, dude. <laughs> Dude, good job, brother. Because I know that's hard to do when you're afraid of heights. It just takes all the moisture out of your body. I can't. I know. I I'm, need, that's it. You're done. <laughs> Let's go to the river. Let's go to the river, man. Camp's right there, bro. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> no. So here's the rope right here going up there's the ledge you land on and the ledge you start from is right there so you can see the rope and then it comes down and what makes this so sketchy is that if you fall there's a great potential of bouncing off that ledge and continuing all the way down <laughs> so that's that's a really plays with your mind and that's what makes it so difficult to get done but anyway, mission accomplished. Heading to the beach, set up camp, and a beautiful view as we drop to the river for the first time. All right, there's camp, Toltec Beach. What a beautiful sight. 
awesome day. The day's coming to an end, making our final drop down here. So like I said earlier, they released a crap ton of water out of Powell to just kind of flush it out down here and create some new beaches and I don't know, whatever other reasons they do that for, but um, they shut it off yesterday or last night sometime and it's still flowing high, but... The high flow actually made it up this high and deposited all this sand. I mean, I think it was all the way up to where our tents are right here because there's leftover water way up here. All this right here where we're set up right now is all brand new beach. This has never been used. So we're taking advantage of it to be the first ones to camp on the new beach at Toltec. We are getting ready to leave camp here at Toltec. And uh, it was a good camp. The water's dropped probably two to three feet since we got here yesterday, last night. It's uh, going on eight o'clock right now. I think we only have six miles to do today, but we're fully loaded with water now. We each are carrying about seven liters. So um, pretty heavy packs, but pretty rough going terrain all through there to get over to Garnet. So here we go. Day three begins now. Camp was right there at Toltec Beach. And then the uh, rappel, just to give you perspective, was coming down these right here, somewhere in there. Beautiful morning in the shade for uh, most of it so far. Thank God. So this is a brutal section, but beautiful with all these yellow flowers popping everywhere. This is the reason why you shouldn't drink the water out of Garnet, because it's the same way. High mineral content in these drainages. All right, we are reaching Garnet right here. And uh, I think we're gonna take advantage of the pothole water and dunk our shirts and our hats and get them wet. Utilize them for the climb up to the plateau. It's a hot one. Yeah. All right, we have made it to the beginning of the Tonto West Trail here. Should be pretty 
smooth sailing once we get up to the top of the platform up there. Here we go, Tonto West. by the coloring. The sun is just backlighting all this red and yellow. It's just awesome walking today. Man, it's so beautiful in the canyon. I cannot stop with the filming and picture taking right now. It is just unbelievable in here. Look at this. Cathedrals on the north side and just flowers that we're walking through over here. The colors are popping. It's unbelievable today. What a treat. It is to be in the canyon because it's so beautiful it kind of just takes your uh, mind off of how hot it really is but um we're moving we are making miles now that we're on the tonto but it's it's hard to do because you just want to keep shooting video and taking pictures because it's so amazing out right now enjoy basically here for about three hours we're not moving because it got instantaneously the heat just turned on um, when we left Garnet you know we soaked our shirts in the pothole water and at least had a good start good running start from there but we've come maybe a mile and a half to two miles away from Garnet okay we are uh, getting ready to leave right now it's about a quarter after four we've been here for shit close to four hours um, but hopefully beat the heat of the day. We definitely felt the temperature go up since we've been here, even sitting in the shade. We're probably assuming it's 90 or slightly above out in the sun right now. So, But hopefully uh, the shadows will start coming and see what we could do. There's a tiny pothole of water right down here in the creek bed. We're gonna go soak our shirts just to give us the edge and uh, get to camp which is about maybe two miles from here, so. See you guys along the way. Here we go into the heat. I'm trying to get to the shade right out there on that point as fast as possible, because it is hot. It's definitely over 90 right now. My God. Thank God for that little pothole water that we dumped our shirts in. Game changer for sure. on this point look at this view we got tonight right outside of camp unbelievable 
As I pan across here to the north side, I mean, look at these cathedrals in the red wall. Unbelievable. I mean, this one across the way right there, you could, you could fit a cruise ship in that thing. That's how big that is. And then keep panning now more up river here. What a beautiful spot. Man, this is one of my favorite point camps in all of the Grand Canyon. I just can't stop shooting video and snapping pictures. The weather is perfect too. Today was one of my favorite days I have ever had in the canyon. It was, I mean, it, this morning, walking through all the wildflowers with the morning light and the shadows and, you know, and then after we took that long four hour siesta and hit it in the afternoon, I mean, I probably within a 20 minute time span probably shot 20 video clips. I was just constantly shooting. And then this camp, I mean, you can't beat camps like this. I've done the whole Tonto Trail, and this is probably one of my favorite camps by far. This is, it, anywhere you look, you, you have river views, gorge views, just red wall views, down the river views. An unbelievable day. I can't say enough. I can't, I can sit here and talk about today forever. Anyway, it's uh, dinner time to, uh, we're gonna go, we got an awesome spot picked out over the river. We're gonna go have some dinner and uh, finish day three. What an epic day. <laughs> you just keep pulling shit out. I'm like. <laughs> he has a snack this yeah. big. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> How big is that barrel cat? Yeah. <laughs> Bird flies out. <laughs> Good morning from Camp 3. Beautiful sight to wake up to. It's about 6 o'clock right now. We're going to try to get going no later than 6.30. Beat the heat of the day and get over to Bass. But this is hard to leave. Look at that. So beautiful. All right, we are taking off. Uh, the sun's already on us. It's a little warm. It's probably 70 degrees already and it's 6.30. So trying to get an early start today um, so that we can get over to South Bass water tanks as soon as possible. And then we'll probably take another long siesta there again. Um, fill up water and then make our way up into the canyon toward the esplanade and find camp, our last camp. So that's the plan for the day. Day four begins now.
right, we are entering copper. making our way out of copper. That was a long canyon. We started way over there about an hour and a half ago. All right, uh, we are just getting out of copper right now. I mean, you can see how massive this thing is. We started way out there our way all the way back it uh, it's definitely reminds me of some of the canyons in the gym canyons just gonna round our final point here over into South Bass and then drop down a mile from there to the pothole water it's pretty hot out today it's going on 1030 and we're just kind of uh, Trying to get there as quick as possible <laughs> so we can get out of the sun. All right, North Bass just came into view. It's this beach right there. And then you can see where Shinumo Creek comes out into the river, which is right there. And just a beautiful view from here. My God. What an awesome panoramic view. But it's hot. All right, we are just about to round the corner into South Bass. It's about 11.30, it is cooking now. Today was supposed to be the hottest day of, the, of our trip, so it is cooking though. All right, well, there was a junction right on the Tonto, right here as we rounded the point. And we're gonna just take it, cause I know the pothole water is literally right on the other side of that, those pinnacles right there, just right over that ridge and down in there. So instead of hiking all the way back into the canyon and then all the way back down to it, we're just gonna take this side trail. There's not really much of a trail, but we're just gonna take it straight down to the water. So we're just gonna try to cut some miles off and you know, get to the water fast as fast as possible because it's blazing out here right now. The thing out here is, here, here's the thing, it's not, I mean, of course it is staying hydrated and carrying enough water, but here's the, the part that people don't take into account. Yeah, you can have a ton of water on you, but once your body reaches a certain point of heat, you start getting that heat exhaustion. And if you can't cool down, it's not a good thing. So um, right now it's just all about getting to some water as fast as possible, even though we all have probably a liter and a half still left to drink easily. So it's just the heat itself. So anyway, I'm gonna get going. It's getting hot. It's definitely well over 90.
All right, there's the cairn marking the end of the spur trail that we just took and we're pretty much at the bottom right now. If I pan this way, that's looking up bass. And here's a pretty awesome campsite I've camped here before. And the water's just right down over there. Thank God, because it we're all overheating. We all needed that. That was brutal drop. It was just kept getting hotter and hotter too the lower you go and we were all right there at the brink. Oof. All right, you can see our IVs hanging from the cliff. <laughs> this is what we've been doing for the last three hours. All right, we just walked back up to the water hole real quick, getting some water for our hike up and out of South Bass. Look at the coloring on this hillside. That's what we came down right there, like four hours ago. But look at the coloring, just unbelievable blanket of yellow. All right, we're leaving the pothole water in South Bass and headed up and out, but we're gonna try to find a camp somewhere out on a point up there just below the Esplanade. So here we go. <laughs> There is the head of South Bass Canyon, right through the middle there. We got our work away up that scree field right there. And then we'll come out above the red wall there to camp. Making our final ascent up the back of the canyon here. And it's a grueling climb. We've already climbed almost 2,000 feet over three miles. Oh, this is a climb. We came up through that brushy slot down there. It is brutal, but look at that view. <laughs> This is what we are looking at as we make our final run into camp. This is the head of Bass Canyon. Actually, South Bass Trailhead is right up here on the rim.
at that as the sun comes up. Beautiful this morning. We got some awesome sun rays through the canyons. Great view all the way down South Bass. Perfect last morning. All right, this was camp right here. We got here right at last light last night, so we just uh, pitched our tents and had some dinner out on the point right there, but, but it was too dark to take anything. But this morning, watching that sunrise up over South Bass and the North Rim out there has just been amazing. Great camp. I've always wanted to camp right here. Never logistically could, but worked out perfect for this trip. Awesome view from here. I don't know why you invited Steve. I don't know. Either. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck did I invite this guy for? Never coming again! <laughs> okay. Hello. Take two. Uh, now, what was your favorite day? Um, again, moments. Every day had something really cool. Every day had something a little scary. So that water crossing was really cool. Uh, figuring it out and, you know, taking our time and going across. Not that it was dangerous or anything. It was just cool. Interesting. Um, and then, you know, six hours later, I'm standing on top of a ledge looking at a 20-foot rappel that I really didn't want to do. So, so it's not days, moments. <laughs> what was your least favorite part of this hike? Rappel. Not a big fan of heights. Um, might not be that crazy for some people, but for me, that's what took the cake. Definitely. What was your favorite part of this hike? Uh, getting down to the river, you know, hitting the Colorado. And then getting in there and feeling that water, that felt good. And then the campsite on the river, for me, was the best part. Definitely. Okay, overall, what do you think uh, of the whole hike in general, the whole loop? It, honestly, for me, personally, it was it was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. You know, it wasn't. it's not like these easy trails that, you, you know, I thought it was going to be. It's pretty, some pretty intense hiking, and the train can get pretty gnarly at times, for sure. Anyway, we're done. We're getting ready to leave. We got about another... I don't know, maybe three, three and a half miles to the trailhead. I can actually see the trailhead from here. And um, we'll be out here in probably a couple hours. So what a trip, a little bit of everything. Every day had its own unique challenges. Um, you know, just, and, and as far as hiking goes, I mean, a little bit of everything. Water, ledging, uh, rappelling, Awesome camps on points, beaches, slick rock creek bottoms. Uh, really great loops. One of my favorite loops in the whole canyon. So, anyway, enjoy uh, the way out.
We're almost done. Uh, we got maybe a mile to go, if that. Trailhead's right there, right up above me. And um, what a trek. It was uh, great hiking with my buddy Greg again and, and Steven again. I haven't hiked with Steven in over 10 years. Um, but I had a great time with them and uh, had a great time out there on the trail. So it was a really fun, laid back, but exhilarating hike at the same time. Anyway, Grand Canyon never disappoints. See you guys on the next one. No waste of time, we're alive today. Turning up the past, there's no easier way. Time's been between us, the main's to an end. God, it's good to be here walking together, my friend. Living a dream. My mind's still thinking. That's how it happened, living life by the drop. That's how it happened, living life by the drop. Oh, yeah. Baby. That's how it happened, living life by the drive. Oh, yeah, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Woo. That was a fun trip, you guys. Yeah. <sighs>